people tend to use it in pretty unexpected ways. For example, if you ask someone what their age is in years, nothing stops them from saying something silly like banana. If you have an integer variable and you try storing the string in it in the user, you'll get an error and your program will crash. You can fix this. If you have a certain section of code that you know might produce errors in certain cases, but you don't want to stop your program from running, you can surround it with something called a try block. It's as easy as it sounds. Just type the word try followed by curly braces, and inside those curly braces you can print your code. If anything goes wrong inside that code, it creates something called an exception, which is what Java calls errors. If an exception occurs, we'll want to catch the exception and keep it in a variable. Lastly, our catch block needs curly braces, and inside those curly braces, you can write any code you want to run when an exception is generated. For example, you could write system.out.println e, which would print out the exception for the user so they know something went wrong. If you want, you can also catch only certain types of exception and run different code depending on the type that was caught. Check out the code above for an example of a try catch block. Then try creating your own. When you're done with this lesson, check out the next two pages for some more challenges. Bye, Bye Supercoders! Coders.